Hi everyone, this is Kenneth Wong, a San Francisco-based Burmese American author, blogger, and language instructor. Welcome. My hobbies include reading, writing, and painting. What about yours? Perhaps more to the point, can you say it in Burmese? This is the lesson for today: how to talk about your personal interests and hobbies in Burmese. So let's start. Let's say you're interested in dancing. First, take a look at the verb to dance. That's gade, gade, affirmative form for to dance. But when talking about hobbies or interests, just like in English, you need a noun form or a gerund. So, gade is the verb to dance. Gada, gada is the gerund form, meaning dancing. Now you've got a noun. The verb clause to be interested in something is. Wadana bade, wadana bade. I'll break it down for you. Wadana is the first part, meaning hobby or interest. Bade is actually your operative verb. This verb means to be partial to or to be eager about. Wadana bade, to be interested in something as a hobby. To say that you are interested in dancing or dancing is your hobby, you would say, chenno. If you're a man, or chama, if you're a woman, gada wadana pade. One more time, chano gada wadana pade. If you're a man, or chama gada wadana pade. If you're a woman, meaning I'm interested in dancing, or dancing is my hobby. How about singing as your hobby? The verb clause for that is the chen sore, the chen sore. Let me further break it down for you. The chen is the noun, song or songs. Sore is the verb to sing. It may seem repetitive to you as an English speaker to say singing songs, but in Burmese, the verb sore could be used for other type of singings or reciting activities like reciting your lessons or reciting prayers. So you have to say specifically the chen sore to mean to sing songs. Now, converting that into a gerund form, you can say, "Chano the chen sora wadana bade." Chano the chen sora wadana bade. To say, "I'm interested in singing," or "Singing is my hobby." I say "chano" because I'm a man. If you're a woman, you should say, "Chama the chen sora wadana bade." Let's take a look at a few other verb clauses to talk about hobbies, shall we? Baji swere. Baji swere is to draw, quite literally, to draw paintings. Gita tire or gita tire, that means to play the guitar. And the last one, hinchete, hinchete is to cook dishes, to make dishes. First, you need to convert them all into gerund form. So, baji swera, baji swera is drawing or painting activity. Gita tira or gita tira is playing the guitar. Hinchetta, hinchetta is cooking or making dishes. So now, depending on whatever it is that you are interested in, you can say, "Chano baji swera wadana pade." I'm interested in painting. Chano gita tira wadana pade. I'm interested in playing guitar. Chano hinchetta wadana pade. I'm interested in making dishes, cooking. Another verb clause here: kai thware, kai thware, or kai twatte, kai twatte. Both mean to go on a trip. The only difference is the verb involved. Thware is to go, and twatte is to depart or to take off. Chano kai thwara wadana pare. Chano kai twatta wadana pare. Either way you say it, that means I'm interested in traveling, going on trips. Travel is my hobby. To talk about my interest in reading and writing, I would usually say sa yera sa patta wadana pare or sa patta sa yera wadana pare. What if you want to say I'm interested in learning languages? Bada zaga lelade, bada zaga lelade. That.
That means to study or to learn languages. Badazaga is language or languages. Lilade is to learn to study. So if you're a polyglot, you'll probably say Chano Badazaga Lilada Wadana Bade. Chano Badazaga Lilada Wadana Bade. Now if you remember the phrase to be interested in Wadana Bade has two parts. The first part, wadana, is the noun, hobby, or interest. Bade is the operative verb, meanings to be interested in, to be partial to, to be eager about something. So the negative form, you have to negate actually the verb part and leave the noun part alone. And that means wadana mapabu. Wadana mapabu. That's a negative form to say, I'm not interested in something. If you're not interested in singing, you would say the chen soda wadanama babu. The chen soda wadanama babu. If you're not interested in learning languages, of course, you'll say bada zaga leilara wadanama babu. Bada zaga leilara wadanama babu. But since you are somebody watching this video, you're more likely saying chano bada zaga leilara. This fall, I will be teaching intermediate Burmese at UC Berkeley again. So if you are enrolled there and would like to learn Burmese, I hope to see you in my class. If you are an intermediate or advanced learner looking to grow your vocabulary, you might want to check out my podcast, Learn Burmese from Natural Talk. You can subscribe to it at Buzzsprout or other podcast syndication places like Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You can also find it on block spot. Until next time, I'm Kenneth Wong saying see you later. Namatwime. No